Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Uh, today I'm going to give you 10 reasons why we chose a fifth wheel trailer over a motorhome when we decided to go full time. Uh, truly there's no right answer here. Uh, people full time in all sorts of vehicles, class A's, C's, B's, you know, the vans, travel trailers, whatever. Uh, but uh, why we chose a fifth wheel, we, when we were first looking we went through a lot of rigs and really came down to going with a fifth wheel in a truck and here's the 10 reasons why we did that. Number one, best bang for the buck. So we were able to get a brand new fifth wheel trailer back in 2011 right around about thirty thousand dollars and then we were able to find an older but in mint condition uh, F-350 pickup truck uh, right around it was about ten, eleven thousand. We needed to put a few things into it, but altogether about forty-five thousand. We had <clears throat> a rig to go. So uh, when you look at forty-five thousand, what that's going to buy you in a Class C or a Class A, you're going to be looking at quite an older model or a pretty high mileage model. Also, then you still have to buy yourself a tow vehicle. Uh, so quickly, the the price of the the unit can go really, really quite high. Well over a hundred thousand, up to three hundred thousand, no problem. Also, you have to insure both those vehicles, so we just have to insure the truck. And then there is insurance on the trailer, but it's really minor. I think it's like $150 a year or something like that, compared to the truck, which is over around $2,000 now, because we bought a, a brand new truck. Our original truck lasted us a good seven years of full time. And then even even now, we bought a brand new truck, and it was about around 70 something thousand Canadian it's around 53,000 American so still that's a lot less than trying to replace a, a class A motor home or even a class C motor home um, and and like I say the insurance and the mechanical um, maintenance so we just have to really maintain the one truck uh, the trailer needs some maintenance but it's fairly straightforward a lot of owners can do their own maintenance on their trailers whereas if they have a a, a complicated class A or a class C then they also have their towed or tow along car so you have to be constantly maintaining both those engines. And number two was the maximum roominess inside. Um, we went through a lot of different RVs and I really like the fifth wheels. We just have a 28 foot 20 30 foot rig with one slide but with the high ceilings, I'm six feet tall, so I really notice it when the ceilings are low, like in a travel trailer or some of the Class A's and C's. It kind of feels a little cramped in there to me. But the fifth wheel, some of the ceilings are as high as eight feet tall, so it just opens it up and I get it feels like it's really, really roomy. And also, in a, in a motorhome, you, you eat up a lot of your space with the front dash area. Um, the seats can spin around and stuff, but I uh, just find that the fifth wheel maximizes the living space a lot better. Number three, sort of a repeat, that's the, the dual drivetrains. I just have the truck motor transmission rear end brakes on the truck to maintain, which is pretty costly, but compared to a motorhome, which is even going to be more specialized and more costly, and then also you're going to have your little vehicle that you tow behind that's going to have to be maintained as well, you know, so you got two oil changes, um, two sets of filter changes, all that sort of thing, the yearly maintenance, and also the tires will be a little more expensive, like the tires on the on the trailer are pretty cheap. I just replaced all four tires and it was around $600 for all four, but you start replacing tires on, on uh, vehicles, and especially in big motorhomes, they can get really expensive, the tires on them. Number four, it was something I could easily work on myself. Um, I don't think I'm going to be tearing apart a diesel engine on a motorhome. Uh, the wiring can get a lot more complex. I almost have to be a heavy-duty mechanic in some ways to work on them. Whereas the trailer is dead simple. It's just got some wheels and suspension and not a lot of... There's no engine in a, in a trailer. So uh, everything's pretty basic to go through and also you can get at things a lot easier. I find the motorhomes and the Class C's 
everything is so crammed tightly in there and the way they built they're built it's hard to get at things whereas a trailer I can pull panels apart and get access to things when when I'm working on it so I just feel it's a lot easier for a layman or someone who likes to tinker to be able to work on them. Number five is storage space. I like the fifth wheel, especially compared to the travel trailers and the Class C type motorhomes, is there's a lot of storage in the basement area because when you walk in, you step up into the, the, into the, the bedroom and, and bathroom area. Underneath, there's a huge storage compartment. They call it the basement storage. And there's a front storage. So I've, especially if you're full time, you need places to store stuff. Um, also, in because the ceilings are quite high, uh, there's an extra area of high cupboards in, in the fifth wheels that you can get a lot more storage versus uh, the lower ceiling uh, motorhomes and travel trailers. Number six is a, mostly a personal preference, but I just prefer driving a truck around. I like having a truck. Um, I like the fact that it's a lot more safe. Uh, so when you go somewhere and you park your RV and you're off exploring, going through cities or, you know, back roads on highways, if you get in an accident with this, I got a big one ton truck, it weighs 8,000 pounds, unless I hit another truck of the same sort of weight and size, if I hit a little vehicle, I'm hardly even going to notice. If I get rear-ended by someone, you got eight foot of box behind me in the heavy truck, we're probably not going to get injured. Uh, versus a, a motorhome where you're towing a kind of a tiny little towed car along and that's going to be your your drive around car. Of course there's the disadvantage, trucks are hard to park, um, it's going to take a lot more fuel, but uh, I just really like having the truck. Also the truck bed is, is eight foot so I can put my toolboxes in there. I have a lot of storage area in the bed. So that's even more storage because of the fifth wheel and the truck combination. There's a lot of storage in the in the truck bed. So when going off-road, some of the little toads aren't going to be able to handle some of the, the off-roading we do. Um, big truck, heavy suspension, heavy brakes, big tires. You can go over a lot of a lot of really brutal terrain and not really hurt your vehicle compared to a to, compared to a smaller, you know, a little little small car like a Fiat or whatever you know people are also, using. Uh, we needed it to uh, tow my wife's boat. My wife owns a little boat, so it's uh, handy to have a truck to be able to tow that thing around for her as well. Number seven, large waste tanks and large freshwater tank. So we, one thing we wanted to do is uh, kind of camp more off-grid, away from RV parks, or maybe in state and national parks where there weren't hookups. So when I was shopping, I was really paying attention to the, the tank capacities. And that's one thing I liked about the Cougar. Not only did it have a big cargo carrying capacity, almost 3,000 pounds, it had a large freshwater tank, uh, 60 gallons, and it also had three different waste tanks, one black and two gray, and they were all near 40 gallons. So that just enables us to go off grid longer before we have to go and, and dump and fill. So I really paid attention to that. You start getting into travel trailers and some of the, the smaller motorhomes and things and you just don't have the tank capacity. So if you do decide you, you want to boondock with it, um, you, that starts to be a limit to how long you can stay before you got to go dump and fill. Number eight, with the fifth wheel, uh, if our truck, our tow vehicle does break down, at least we still have our house. Uh, our old truck broke down a few times. It was nice. We just take the trailer somewhere, camp, and the truck could go to the shop. With a motorhome, you know, you get a major breakdown in a motorhome while your motorhome is going into the shop. And some shops will let you go and stay in there, but it's, it's still not the same. You're in the, like a shop parking lot or something. And if, if they won't let you, then you're, you're off to a, a motel. And that can get more complicated. We had dogs at the time, so it was nice. We wouldn't have to worry about, you know, kenneling our dog or whatever. So it could be kind of a hassle with a breakdown versus with the with the trailer. Truck breaks down. We can have, we, we pay for insurance for double tow. So we just get the trailer towed to an RV park and then just wait, wait in our home until the, the truck is ready. Number nine, I really like the fifth wheel for the towing stability. Because that pin box sits right above the rear axle of the truck, they kind of mesh as one. 
you don't really have any sway problems in heavy winds. Um, you don't feel like you know you're 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 uh, losing control on the highway when a big semi roars past you and blows a big blanket of wind onto you. So it's a, a super stable um, combination as far as that goes. So it really makes uh, towing kind of a, a pleasure. Where I have seen you know with a travel trailer your your length is kind of increased and the, the truck is kind of separated from the load. And there is weight distribution bars and stuff like that, but I just I don't believe it's near the same as a as a fifth wheel. Um, motorhomes are pretty good, but you get a small motorhome or a Class C, and you stick a, a big car behind it, um, you can get a lot of a, a lot of tail wagging the dog going on with that. I've I've gone down the freeway and followed you know someone with a, a Class C towing a, a car, and you know you get you see them get hit by a gust of wind, and they're kind of all over the road for a while. Number 10, I can back up if I get in a tight area or it's just easy to back the rig. Um, if you have a, a, a motorhome, Class A, Class C, and you've got a car behind you and suddenly you need to back up for some reason, most, you know, some people can kind of back up straight for a while, but any sort of maneuver, you're going to have problems with a little car in tow. So um, I can pull into a, a fuel station, say it's it's kind of crowded, I can always nose in there, grab my fuel, and then Anne can can go behind me, and I can she can guide me back, and I can back out of a situation. Also, when I show up in an RV park, it's easy if if they just have back end spots, I'm in my spot. I don't have to unhook a car and all that, all that. Kind I, of I stuff. really like to have the the rig that I can I can freely back up anytime I want to. So there you go. That's my top ten reasons that we went with a fifth wheel as our our RV for full timing. Now it's not the end all be all be all. There's a lot of good reasons to choose a motorhome over a fifth wheel. So I've written down some of the cons of uh, owning a fifth wheel compared to a motorhome. Let's go. Number one, our fifth wheel trailer has less security. Uh, with more steel construction, motorhomes for the most part are harder to break into. If threatened, you can always jump in your driver's seat and leave the scene so if if there's somebody sketchy outside and we're in our trailer we have to actually leave our trailer to get in the truck so little layer of security that motorhomes have um, when towing a, a long steep hill where overheating may be a concern I can't the motorhomes can actually unhook their their tow vehicle um, so someone can drive the smaller tow vehicle then that lessens the load going up a hill for them uh, class A motorhomes have huge storage compartments underneath with really uh, large weight capacities, even even more than what I have in the in the fifth wheel trailer there. So that's one bonus to them. That mainly applies to the really big diesel pusher type class A's that are you know 38, 40, 42 feet. Let's see, motorhome owners towing a secondary small vehicle can save on fuel versus a large truck when we're unhooked. So when we get to an area and we're going to be touring you know going to a museum or going to get groceries or whatever you know we're going to be burning a lot more diesel than uh than these little cars buzzing around although it's a lot better with the newer ram i'm getting really good unhooked fuel mileage but still it's not going to be any anywhere near one of these little little toads um if your main motorhome engine breaks down on the road you have a backup and you're not stranded so <laughs> You know, if, if we go and we break down on the side of the road, that's it. We're stuck. You know, we're going to have to call a cab or wave someone down or maybe take a bicycle. But uh, at least they have a second vehicle. They can lock up the motorhome and get in their toad and, and be on their way. Um, most motorhomes have a built-in generator that can efficiently charge the coach batteries off the engine. So... It's kind of nice for for motorhomes. Some fifth wheels have it, but most of the motorhomes they just go and push a button, and all of a sudden the generator files fires up, and they're they're charging their batteries. So, you know, the fifth wheel owner's going to kind of get up, get out his portable generator, and hook it all up. Um, you also have on a motorhome while you're driving along, you have access <clears throat> to your bathroom and your kitchen. You know, someone can go back and make some lunch or grab something out of the refrigerator or, of course, go to the bathroom without pulling over. Whereas the fifth wheel, you got to, you know, pull over and park and then go back in, into the back area. Well, there you go. It's a, a little bit of info for you people that are considering what kind of RV to get, especially for full timing. It's a big decision. They're very expensive, so you don't want to have to buy it 
again <laughs> if you make a mistake. Uh, although you can, uh, if you want to leave a, any more information in the comments about why you chose your particular RV, that can always always help people when they're making their decision. But I have to say we've we've gone nine years now and we have no reason to change <clears throat> our type of RV. We love the fifth wheel. In fact, you know, a year and a half ago we had a big decision to make our old truck. Um, packed it in, and we were going. We had to invest a lot of money in a new, a new truck. So we had to be really sure that we were going to still go with at least a trailer and and most likely a fifth wheel. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.